This showed up at the door the other day. Let's check it out. First, I'm all for getting better gear to shoot better video. I do, however, object to gadgets and poorly manufactured gear that breaks. By gadgets, I mean you're told the pro use them when in fact they don't, and they usually end up in a closet somewhere. There is no way, for example, that I'm going to show up and shoot something with a substandard slider. It has to have ball bearings, move as smooth as glass, be well built, not fail me or the crew using it. Second, I'm not a gear junkie and I don't do advertising. I created this channel to help other filmmakers out, period. You'll never hear me tell you something is good just because I'm making ad revenue, which I don't. I already have or can rent whatever gear I need, and if someone wants me to hawk their products on this channel, it better be good. Something my viewers can actually use, and it better not be a gadget. Only boxing robots. Get the rock'em, suck'em robots. I usually don't do gear reviews. I leave that to other channels who specialize in them. Doing a thorough review of something is a lot of work to give it any real justice. I pride myself on being honest, but I hate being critical, which is why I don't like to put myself in that position. So imagine my surprise when someone from Canova emailed me asking if they could send me something. I thought, I don't think so. Then I noticed they didn't ask me to review it or offer ad revenue or infer I had any obligation. Just, would you be interested in receiving this thing? Interesting. Now, I must admit, one of the reasons I paid any attention to this is because I own Canova sliders. They are extremely well built, use ball bearings, get amazingly smooth shots, are pro quality, and have never failed me or anyone else. Although I decided this was probably some new filmmaking gadget, I kind of yawned and more or less said, sure, why not, send it. I'd forgotten about all this until this box showed up the other day from Canova. The mailman knows everybody in the neighborhood and everybody knows the mailman. I opened it and here's what I saw. A really great looking bag, well labeled, made out of thick canvas, just like the slider carrying bags. Now I'm thinking, heck, maybe this is something really useful. So I unzip the bag, open the top, look inside, and I see a skateboard with wheels and some shiny knobs. Crap, it's a table dolly, a gadget. So I'm ready to walk this off to my closet of crap. That's where I keep all those worthless gadgets I was talking about. Then I decide, the least I can do is give Canova the courtesy of taking a look. I mean, someone took the effort to send it to me, no strings attached. Now I've handled a lot of gear in my time. It takes me zero seconds to know if something is well built and can withstand the rigors of filmmaking. So I got curious, took it out of the nifty carry bag and took a look. Thick, solid, anodized aluminum, including the axle bars. Large, well-machined knobs with no burrs. High-quality labels coated and machined into the base plate. Ratcheted angle markers, which we'll get to later. Thick-coated wheels. And smooth movement. Among others, I have a filmmaking and engineering background. The engineering brain won out. My first thought was, I wonder how much weight this thing will actually hold. I mean, if I'm on a heavy camera, tripod, head, sound gear, a monitor, and a few other things, What's going to happen? I have no idea what the actual load specs are on this thing. So I threw it on the floor and I used it like a skateboard. Of course, there's no way I would mount 140 pounds of camera gear on this thing. Okay, maybe that's 160. The amazing thing is there was no bending or deformation after riding it and it was pretty fun. Next, I'm looking at these angle markers and the wheel axle assemblies. They are adjustable to varying degrees and ratcheted. In other words, they click, click, click through the angles. In my mind, the first place the engineering is going to go very wrong is the cuts for the ratchet angles. So I set the front wheels to 45 degrees and the back wheels to 45 degrees and rolled it down the floor. It ran totally straight and true. How about zero degrees? Again, it rolled across the floor straight and true. I also noticed that the knobs had more than just a screw and unscrew feel. I looked under the knobs and found they were spring-loaded. Nice touch. On top of the board plate is a 3 8 inch screw and it has pads on both sides. That reduces camera shake and protects marring the bottom of your tripod head. Next, the screws are all stainless steel so they won't rust. 
The other screw holes are a quarter inch and had no machining burrs. The wheels have almost no play in them from side to side and as shown, ran true and straight. My engineering brain was very impressed with the quality and workmanship. And then my filmmaking brain started in on this thing. Is this useful? So now what? Put it on the table and shoot salt and pepper shakers? Put it in the closet of crap. I told my filmmaker brain to shut the hell up. I've never used a table or skater dolly in my work. I've never seen the need, and besides, there's always some kid on set with a skateboard. Woo! So I decided to see what I could do with this thing and if it was useful. First, I mounted my tripod head and camera. That's what the 3 8 inch screw is for. You wouldn't mount your camera directly to this, as cameras don't usually have 3 8 inch mounting threads, and there'd be no way you could control the angle and tilt of the camera. Next, I decided to mount my monitor to this rig too. That's what the extra quarter inch threaded hole is for. Extra gear you need while shooting on this thing. Space is a little tight here, but you can make it fit and still work with it. So let's see if this piece of gear is actually useful. I didn't have a lot of time, so I just shot a few things real quick around the house. The autofocus salt and pepper are awesome. I could see where you could get some cool effects with a shot like this. Here's a 180 degree shot in focus. Apparently the cats think these are cool too. Here's a dolly in shot. Normally I'd use a slider, but this can work too and is much easier. I could see where I wouldn't have to worry about how long of slide I need. Here's a side to side shot, which also works and I don't need a slider. Just for fun, I decided to take this out on the concrete. It was much better than I expected, especially when I pushed down a bit on the dolly, which took the shake out. Of course, the best shots you'll get from this is on smooth surfaces. Well, I gotta say, I'm impressed with this table skater dolly. It pretty much meets all the requirements for me to take on a shoot. It's exceptionally manufactured. It's not too light and too heavy. It's about two and a half pounds. It's got a carrying bag with a handle that actually protects it. It's smooth and fluid, and it can get certain kinds of shots a lot easier than other types of gear. There's plenty of other skater and table dollies out there, including DIY solutions, and they're good, but I'm pretty sure this one beats most all of them for quality, durability, and usability. I've included the link below. And there you go, my first real product review. My thanks to Canova, for actually making quality gear that is actually useful. I hope this helps and thanks for watching.